Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Kingswood Community Center. Actually, that's the one down I used to work. As a joke. You didn't know where we were. Anyway, <laughs> you know, uh, I want to thank William, Wayne Jefferson for uh, having us here at the Hicks Anderson Center. Hick, uh, I, everybody from Delaware, everybody knew who Hicks was. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Hicks Anderson, he was everybody's friend. Hicks and I went, went way, way back. Uh, you know, we, my friend, an American hero, Congressman John Lewis, who crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge one last time on Sunday. Congressman Lewis, he marched across the Pettus Bridge and they beat him and ran over him. But those were Democrats. I went over the bridge twice, once with him, and I thought I knew a lot about it. Until you walk that bridge, to walk down there, seeing those folks with clubs and on horses, waiting at the bottom of the bridge. But those were Democrats. People have seen now. Those people allowed them to shelter in place. All those folks risking their lives, stacking the shelves in the supermarkets, farming the food, getting it to our tables. All those folks, most of whom are black and brown, one thing the Senate and the President can do right away, nearly 150,000 dead from COVID-19 and counting. More than 4 million Americans have tested positive and counting. Donald Trump faces a real test, and he is horrifyingly and not surprisingly intentionally stoking the flames of division and racism in this country. Unchain! Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. I said from the outset, they're going to put you all back in chains. That there's no place for violence or destruction of property. You, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. You may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. But that wouldn't help Trump's political interest. He's determined to stoke division and chaos. It's not good for the country, but Donald Trump doesn't care. His campaign is failing, and he's looking for a political lifeline. Every instinct Trump has is to add fuel to the fire. We're waking up this morning to devastation in Minneapolis. Peaceful protests transitioning into violence and looting. It's the last thing the last thing we need. Think about it. What the words of a president matter. You said Your they would have to would buy in. Have to buy in. If she uh, qualifies, are, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Be are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I mean, have been to caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lion, dog faced pony soldier. The words of a president matter. So if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. The words of a president matter. Anyway, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. And I'm getting out of your head. Thank you. <laughs>